Welcome to Fable and Five, the City of Fables news brief where we deliver all the latest news and events related to your city government, all within five minutes. I'm Gab McRoberts with the Corporate Communications Department for the City of Fable, and I thank you for joining us for today's episode. The City of Fable was recently recognized with the Digital Cities Award, coming in fourth place nationally for a city our size. This recognition is credited to the city's information technology staff's work on maintaining transparency and engaging its citizens. The annual survey recognizes leading examples of cities using technology to improve services and boost efficiencies. The city was awarded this honor because of its Fable Outfront website for citizen engagement, Fable Beautiful and Budget Chronicles website, Crime IMAP Technology, the Brave the Fire website, City Disaster Recovery, and the Fate Fix It app. If you'd like to learn more about the award or some of the projects that help the city to win the reward, go to fablenc.gov and you'll find more information in the Around the City section of our website. Craig Hardy, president of the Rolling Thunder Chapter 1 in North Carolina, came to Fable on November 2nd and presented a POW MIA Chair of Honor. Rolling Thunder, an advocacy group that brings attention to POWs and MIAs, unveiled and dedicated the POW MIA Chair of Honor in the lobby of City Hall, where the chairs to remain perpetually empty to help people remember that even though our soldiers are not here, there's still a space for them. Um, it's very important to us because we are Gold Star Mothers, our children died in service to our country, and uh, the mothers here in our chapter, our sons are home, but we know mothers whose children are not home. And so we place this chair in memory of them that have not come home. The city recently held a walkable communities event to promote the mixed-use development opportunities in and near downtown Fayetteville. The event highlighted the strong local market for development and urban housing, particularly tied to the many good-paying jobs near downtown. Wrapping up the event was a tour of the downtown and highlighted the prospective development sites. C-Click Fix has just logged its two millionth issue worldwide and it was here in Fable. C-Click Fix is a company that manages an online communication system for citizens in cities all across the country to report non-emergency issues. C-Click Fix is also the company who created the Fay Fix It app for smartphones which is used to make service requests to the city of Fable. The two millionth issue was reported by the city's director of corporate communications department, Kevin Arada, who reported seeing graffiti that was spotted during his tour of the Walkable Communities event. On Tuesday, November 24th, the Fable Area System of Transit, also known as FAST, will help kick off Second Harvest Food Bank's annual Heart of Carolina food drive. For one day only on November 24th, customers can ride for only 25 cents in exchange for donating a canned good when boarding the bus or fast track vehicle. For non-riders wishing to donate canned foods, collection bins will be located at the Fast Transfer Center located at 147 Old Wilmington Road, at Ireland Drive and Rayford Road, and at Cross Creek Mall near the food court entrance. The Heart of Carolina Food Drive runs from November 20th to December 9th. The red light cameras have been staying busy since the city brought them back this summer. From July 8th through October 31st of this year, the red light safety program has issued 4,236 citations, of which 1,678 of the citations have been paid in full. The second phase of the program brought seven more cameras online on October 13th. There are now 10 cameras operating at eight intersections in Fable. If you'd like to learn more about the city's red light camera program, visit fablenc.gov and click on the Hot Topics drop-down menu in the top right corner for the red light camera program link. Do you know a city employee who deserves to be recognized for going above and beyond in serving the community? The city is now accepting nominations for the Core Values Award. The award is designed to create a culture of recognition, increase employee engagement, and reinforce behavior that exemplifies the city's core values and to recognize and motivate higher performance. All city employees are eligible for recognition and any city employee or member of the public can make a nomination. Deadline for nomination forms is November 30th. Employee Recognition Committee members will review the nomination forms for award selection based on an assessment of each nominee's accomplishments against the components of the city's core values of serving with respect. If you'd like to make a nomination, go to the city's website at fablenc.gov and searching for the word CBA. Well, this will wrap up this edition of Fable 5. We look forward to providing you more news about the city of Fable in the weeks ahead. And as always, you can watch this and other videos at FayeTV7.com. If there's a topic or video segment you'd like to see on FayeTV7, go to FableUpfront.com and share your feedback with us. I'm Gab Mac Roberts for FayeTV7, and thank you for watching.